Hey everybody, welcome back to Brainiac Baseball's 1970s Seattle Pilots What If Scenario. Today's matchup is between the Seattle Pilots and the New York Yankees at Yankee Stadium. On the mound for the Pilots today is Dave Boswell, whose record is 7-8 and eight with a 3.98 ERA. And pitching for the Yankees is Larry Goel, whose record is 10-8 and eight with a 3.90 ERA. Okay, uh, we lost yesterday's game 5-1, to one. never really had a shot. In fact, the only run we scored uh, was um, scored on a uh, fielder's choice. Um, so it was really not even meant to be, uh, even just a little bit. Uh, we lost 5-1, to one and that was, that was all there really was to say about that game. Uh, we do move on to game three, uh, the final game of the series, before we... Uh, hop in our uh, 1970 Chevelle and drive to Cleveland to face a four, the Indians in a four-game series. Uh, we are getting closer to the end of the season, as you can see here with your own eyeballs. Um, it looks like if everything goes as planned, I still need to do uh, two more double headers, just not today, uh, maybe tomorrow or the next day. We really should try to have one uh, in the Indian series, that would be the, you know, an optimal thing to do, and then maybe one here in the Tiger series, and that way we can finish up against the Indians at home, and feel uh, like we're going to get it done on time. Now, if you watched yesterday's game, you probably saw that I previewed the title cards for the 1985 Detroit Tigers season replay uh, for the divisional previews this weekend. I will definitely get uh, the American League East video done uh, so we can take a look at the Tigers and all the teams in that division. What we do in those uh, for those videos is we take a look at each team and see uh, what they did during the offseason and uh, how their lineups look heading into the 1985 season. Now, as I've mentioned, uh, we will be having a end-of-the-year uh, giveaway. And I've already got uh, the second and third place prize uh, purchased. The third place prize arrived yesterday, and I think I will re reveal to you what it is. Uh, third place, you will win this 1969 Aurelio Rodriguez. <laughs> excuse me, uh, my allergies are acting up. Uh, this 1969 Aurelio Rodriguez Angels rookie card. And if you're a collector, you know exactly how important this card is to collectors. If you're unfamiliar with this card, you're probably like, why the hell would I want an Aurelio Rodriguez rookie card? Well, Aurelio Rodriguez was not available the day that these cards uh, were created when the photos were taken. And this photo here is of the Bat Boy for the California Angels. So uh, the Bat Boy... Um, Made it on to Aurelio Rodriguez's rookie card. And I don't think probably, you know, anyone really expected Aurelio Rodriguez uh, to be a uh, star in the league. But he was such a good player for so many years, uh, especially for my Detroit Tigers. Uh, other than um, having this rookie card of the Bat Boy, uh, Aurelio Rodriguez was known for uh, being the first third baseman. Uh, to win the gold glove after Brooks Robinson retired. Uh, so he won the gold glove uh, for Detroit, the only gold glove of his career, and that was in 1977. And the other thing is, and I've mentioned this before, that there were only three Aurelios ever to play in Major League Baseball, uh, and that's Aurelio Lopez, senior smoke for my Tigers, Aurelio Rodriguez, and Aurelio Montenegro, and all three of them died in car accidents, uh, just as a weird aside. So anyway, the third place, the third place uh, winner in the uh, duck race will win uh, this Aurelio Rodriguez rookie card, which is not even of him, a pretty famous card uh, in the annals of baseball history. So uh, tomorrow, if I get the second place card, I will... Um, reveal that, okay? Uh, the first place card I haven't even purchased yet. 
uh, whatever the first place prize will be. I, I still don't know. I haven't been able to find anything that I think is um, cool enough and valuable enough uh, to give away. But we've got plenty of time, and uh, I'll find a way to make that happen. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look here at uh, today's ball game. We've got Dave Boswell on the mound. We talked about it in yesterday's game. Dave Boswell's rating uh, dipped from 87 down to 81 overnight. So I guess we'll find out how much that affects him as a pitcher. It's not like he's been lights out or anything uh, to begin with. And then all of our bullpen is available today. We get the gerbil back in three days uh, for those keeping score at home. Here's our lineup versus Larry Gowell. Gowell? Gowell? I, I really don't know the proper way to pronounce his last name. Uh, but you can see here that um, uh, Darren Johnson is listed as tired, so he won't get the start today. It'll be Gary Holman. Uh, Aurelio Rodriguez will be a third, not the uh, bat boy. Um, Sanguian will be catching today. And Jerry Devannon will get the start at shortstop and lead it off. Let's go ahead and do the official lineup rundown for today's ball game. Batting leadoff at shortstop is Jerry Devannon. Batting in the second. And left field is Jose Cruz. Batting third in center field is Tommy Agee. Batting cleanup in right field is Joe Pepitone. Batting fifth in catching is Manny Seguin. Batting sixth at first base is Gary Holman. Batting seventh at third base is Aurelio Rodriguez. Batting eighth at second base is Van Kelly. And batting ninth is the pitcher, Dave Boswell. Larry Gowell um, is making his 27th start. He's 10 and 8 with a 3.90 ERA. More walks than strikeouts, that doesn't really seem to matter against us. But with one strikeout, he'll hit the century mark. He's got 99 and 177 and two third innings. Opponents are betting 229 against him, four complete games. His fastball tops out at 94 miles an hour, pretty good. Ground ball percentage is 45%. Oh my God, this guy's got three pitches, they're all league average or better. His fastball's an 88, a sidearm curve 81, and a changeup rated an 80. Overall rated an 84. The 22-year-old right-hander is arbitration eligible after the 1972 season. Looking at his log, he's coming off a loss to Oakland, where he went seven innings, gave up three runs. Holy cow, he walked eight. Struck out three. Okay. Take a look here at the Yankees defense. Um, infield, not so hot. They definitely mix it up quite a bit. A spot start. I mean, they're right. Yankees are not out of it yet. I mean, they are right in the middle of the pennant race, and yet they have a backup playing first base today. Uh, Dave McDonald, okay, will play first. Second base is Andrews. He played shortstop yesterday, and the regular shortstop, Gene Michael, is back in there. Everybody else is right where they belong. And uh, Thurman Munson after day off, back behind the plate. Okay, here we go. Jerry Devannon leading it off versus Larry Gowell. 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 That sounds good. Right. And Gowell walks Devannon. That's what I want to see. We got the leadoff man on. We're not going to steal, although Devannon is 16 of 18 this year. We will let Jose Cruz swing away. 3 1 count, and he gets walked as well, so back to back walks. And we've got a runner in scoring position with Tommy Agee at the plate. Agee, after two walks, I feel like a strikeout's got to be coming. Yeah, 2-2. Two, two. Oh, no, base hit to right field. Devan in around third and scores. Cruz going to third. And an RBI single for Agee. Pilots are on the board. Still nobody out. First and third, Joe Pepitone. Now we will hit and run. Lots of speed. Pardon me wants to just do a straight steal with AG. Ground ball to short. Cruz 
will score. The only play was to go to first. So give Pepitone an RBI. 2 nothing. Seattle. Here's Manny Sanguian with a runner in scoring position. Ground ball to second. That'll get A.G. over. And leave it up to Gary Holman with two down. He's one for four this year. And there's walk number three. Youch. 27 pitches for go goal. 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 And Aurelio, the man of the hour. Wow, his average is down to 227, and he has not had a home run in months. And there's walk number four. Wow. Bases are loaded for Van Kelly. And Kelly has been clutch all year in these type of situations. I'll take a base hit, keep it rolling. 1-0 count. And a line drive to center field. And there's your out number three. We go to the bottom of the first. Let's take a look at the Yankees lineup then for today. Batting leadoff, playing third base is Jerry Kenny. Batting second in right field is Bobby Mercer. Batting third and catching is Thurman Thomas. Batting cleanup, playing first base is Dave McDonald. Batting fifth in center field is Jim Lytle. Batting sixth at second base is Mike Andrews. Batting seventh at left field is Roy White. Batting eighth is shortstop Gene Michael. And batting ninth is the pitcher Larry Gowell. And I look at McDonald. Okay, here's a guy making his season debut, and they got him in the cleanup role. That makes no sense. Okay, Dave Boswell, speaking of what doesn't make sense, he's making his 13th start since we traded for him. He's 2-3, a 4.43 ERA. He's striking out everybody, though, 77 strikeouts and 81 in the third innings pitch. He does have the highest K per nine in the ball game. Uh, he's got one complete game this year. Fastball, well, he's got three total, but one with us. His fastball topping out 89 miles an hour ground ball percentage is 54.9%. Oh, I'm sorry, 54.6%. The slow curve is his out pitch rated a 90 and a fastball rated an 82. Overall rated an 81. The 25 year old righty is getting paid through 1974. So I, if this is where he's going to be at when we start next year, we have really blown a lot of money there on what I think would have been a pretty solid deal. The Senators uh, have made the last two starts against him, and he's 1-1. One one. He gave up five runs on five hits. I think that game, I totally got pissed off. I kind of remember that. And maybe that's what led to him dropping down to an 81. Let's we'll take a look at our defense. Solid everywhere you look. Um, we've got Rodriguez at third. He's down a tick to 97. Devannon at 80, so he's down a tick as well. Kelly's where he belongs, and we're seeing Holman just for the second time at first. Outfield is the same, and behind the plate is Manny saying, Here we go. Jerry Kenny leading off versus Dave Boswell, and Boswell strikes him out. Come out throwing strikes. You got a 2 nothing lead. Why not? One out, and Bobby Mercer... Popping it up on the infield. So no Tony Solita today. If you saw the title card, you know that he's been crushing it lately. He's got nine home runs in his last uh, 20 ball games and 24 RBIs. So it's good for Boswell here to get a break from that guy. A 1-2-3 inning. We go to the top of the second, and Dave Boswell will lead it off. Very goal. Can't even get Boswell to swing and miss. 37 pitches. I mean, every batter should be working a walk or trying to. 3 1 count to Devan, and he walks for the second time. I think we got to take a chance here and try to steal. Devan, as I mentioned, is 16 of 18. Uh, Goal's got a very good fastball. We know that. 94 miles an hour, I think it said. It tops out at. So we're going we're gonna to try it. I think we haven't attempted a stolen base in quite a while. Oh, he's successful. Nicely done. 
17 for 19, 21 overall. And a runner in scoring position for Jose Cruz. High fly ball to center field. Devannon will tag and go to third on his own. Okay, let's see if Tommy Aichi can drive in another run. He's got the only hit today between both teams. Fly ball to center. That's not going to get it done. Okay, we go to the bottom of the second. And here's Dave McDonald making his season debut. It was a late season call up last year. He went two for four, scored three runs, had a couple RBIs. I mean, give the kid a break. That's pretty good. McDonald with the ground ball to third, and Rodriguez making the play one out. And then Jim Lytle walks. That's the first base runner for the Yanks. Runner at first, here's Mike Andrews. 1-1 one, one count, flip to center, that should find a hole. Oh, it's gonna be caught. I mean, it's hard to tell because there's so much room in this stadium. Um, like those typical flares don't look the same for some reason, I don't know. Two down, and Roy White with a ground ball to Kelly, and he flips it to sh second, makes the play. We go to the top of the third, and Joey Pep will lead it off. Yeah, uh, Gowles at 46 pitches. Pepitone popping it up. I think Pepitone might be done for the year, batting-wise. His batting average is dropping. Well, we're going to keep running him out there. Sanguian with the base hit in the center field. There's our second hit. Oh, and an error by Jim Lytle allows Sanguian to go to second. Interesting. So five walks by goal. Two hits, and that error doesn't help. Gary Holman. Not to be confused with Gary Coleman. Sengen goes to third. Yes, Holman grounds out, and Aurelio walks. Six walks. Man, if this was our pitcher, I seriously would have snapped the laptop in half. First and third, two down. I mean, we're not taking advantage of it. That's our big problem right now. Let's see if Van Kelly can come through. 2-2. Two, two. And he strikes out. First K for goal. We go to the bottom of the third. Here's Gene Michael. Yeah, as the Yankees stay in it, when we don't drive these runs in, I definitely feel a little bit more stress. Gold, not a bad batting average, batting 184 coming into that at bat as he flies out to center. And Jerry Kenny grounds out to second. We're going to the top of the fourth inning, and Boswell will bat again. Oh, he walks the pitcher. I mean, that is cruel. They're leaving this guy in there. He walked eight in his last start, and he's walked seven in three innings today. We'll try to hit and run. Stay out of the double play with the pitcher. Make the pitcher do something on the base pass. You better be running. Oh, he's got to get back. Popping it up into foul ground. All right, now we're just going to swing away. And that's a double play. Well, that might change the complexion of things. Bobby Mercer. I mean, we, I mean let's just face it. We got our two runs. We're not going to get any more than this, right? Every game, someone scores in the first inning, and that's the end of it, right? Um, you know, as far as, like, if it's, if it's us, we don't score anymore. If it's them, then they, you know that they're going to win. I don't trust that we're going to win, uh, but we kind of know how it plays out as Boswell gets his third strike out. One out for Thurman Munson. Waiting on that slow curve. Lines at the second. Probably making a play. Remember that play 
if things continue the way they're progressing. That was a big out. Oh, never mind. Erase it all from your memory. Dave McDonald has, as like the only guy in the lineup other than Holman who has no at bats this year, so you know he had to get a hit. That's his first double of his career. And I guess this is where they drive him in. 3 1 count? Oh, no. All right. First and second, two down. Mike Andrews, is he going to be the hero? Ground ball to third. And that's out number three. Well, the shutout is intact as McDonald breaks up the no no. We go to the top of the fifth, and Tommy Ag will lead it off. How is, how is this clown giving up a two hitter? Oh, I guess he has to give up a two hitter, right? Because it's all walks. Otherwise. It would be seven hits, and he'd have two walks. So one way or another, it has to happen that way. Oh, I was talking bad about Joey Pep, but he goes deep. 508 feet. Well, if anybody on the opposing team was going to go deep, it would be Joe Pepitone in Yankee Stadium. It's stupid as hell, though. I mean, we all agree on that. And there's Walker Brady. 82, uh, 92 pitches, and they're keeping him in there. Here's Gary Holman. What you talking about, Willis? And a really old. Oh, there's a nice strikeout. All right, they granted us a home run. Pepitone's 26th. We go to the bottom of the fifth. Roy White leading it off. He's got two career, two hits, two career home runs. Off of Boswell. Ground ball to second. Defense is playing good. Helping out the pitcher. Kelly gets to everything. And the pitcher. Oh, that's so dumb. So Boswell walks their pitcher in return. For uh, Boswell getting walked by goal. Is this where they get the run? Let's see. I can't imagine he would score from first. Unless Kenny gets it all the way down the line to the wall. Nope. Striking him out. Okay. We go to the top of the sixth. And goal is about to go over 100 pitches. Kelly striking out. Yeah, 106. Boswell with the ground ball to first, and Jerry Devannon. Oh, that's a foul ball. That'll be caught. That's dumb. All right. Bottom of the sixth inning. Sooner or later, Boswell's going to get tagged. He's only thrown 64 pitches, so we have to keep him in there. But the, the pain is coming. I don't know what happened there. Oh, it's a pop-up. Fall ground. Somebody makes the catch. One down for Thurman Munson. I don't have any kids, but if I did, I would have named one of them Thurman. Just to keep the bloodline going. And McDonald strikes out. That's crazy. Oswell's pitching his ass off. And Goals back out there with 112 pitches. Another full count. And another walk. That's nine. They're not taking him out. He's on the verge of getting double digits in walk. You know who's not going to walk? Tommy Agee's definitely not going to take a walk. Oh, no. Oh, number 10. <laughs> keep him in there. What the hell? Come on, man. We've only got three runs. That's what, that's what the crazy part is. We have 14 base runners through six innings plus, and we scored three runs. Uh, all right. Well, I mean, Pepitone's got one home run today. Oh, and a double play. Of course. That's how they're keeping it. Oh, yeah. 
I guess we, we keep it alive. All right, we're going to go on contact, which means a strikeout or a pop-up. Choosing things makes no difference. We know that. Oh, it's a baby taker, right? Will AG score? No. Why would he? 4 nothing. Good job by Sangian. Dropping the Sangia team. Let's see if Gary Holman can get a sack fly. Oh, he can... Oh, my God. Big ups. A three-run shot to left center field. 456 feet. That must have cleared the wall a little bit south of that point there. And they're still keeping him in the ballgame. And he's officially tight. This game is dumb. It's 7 to nothing. Aurelio. A blooper into right center field. That could find a home. Oh, it's going to be caught. Damn it. They don't have it. I mean, they have a 30 people in their bullpen. You can't bring somebody in here? It's got to be because he's got a... He might have to bat. That might be it. Okay, well, now we have a seven-run lead. We don't need to let uh, Boswell get clobbered. Um, so we'll keep him on a short leash here. Oh, no, the game's going to... The game is going to mess him up good. Yeah, I mean, there's a wild pitch. Great job, game. And this is where they're going to get their one and a balk. Wow. I don't want to hear any bullshit from you guys about this game and the box and the walks and the pass balls. They always happen and they always lead to runs. It's so dumb. We'll pull the infield in, but it doesn't matter now. Yeah. Great job, game. Now he'll he'll get you know they'll go one two three here maybe it'll be a double play. They got their one run. The game had to manufacture it. So stupid. Here's Hal McRae though. Yeah. That the only reason that happened was to get that one run. Oh, it's Joe Verbanek. That is the whitest teeth I've ever seen. Even for, especially for 1970. Oh, uh, yeah, there's no reason letting Boswell pitch. He went seven. He gave up his run. He had to. Four walks. That's ridiculous. Okay, um, well, we're going to bring in Steve Whitaker off the bench. We've given him plenty of opportunities this year. I mean, he's got eight at bats. One oh count. Popping it up. We're back to Devannon. Let's look at the end game stats. He's over two, two walks at a stolen base. <coughs> hmm. Excuse me. And Jose Cruz. Yeah. Right, I need a little sip of my tea here. Let's bring in TD. Ted Davidson having a fine year. Although I think lately he's been kind of poopy. No, just that that one game versus the Tigers. We'll give him a chance here to get these two lefties. 2 0 count. A ground ball to Rodriguez. One out. Here's Bobby Mercer. Jammed inside. Thurman Munson? Hi. Oh, okay. Dave McDowell. He's out. Okay. Wrapping this ball game up, here's Tommy Agee. 
Oh, that's going to be a double, maybe a triple. AG will take a double. That's a team leading 24th double. Joey Pep having a big day. Popping out. St. Dean's got a couple hits. Get down. Oh, it does fall in. Well, of course we're going to send the runner home. 8-1. to one. Another RBI for St. Guillen. He had two or three hits yesterday, too, right? That's nice that the game's letting him get his uh, totals up. Here's Gary Holman. He went deep. Who would have thought that had happened today? He pulls it into right field for a single. First and second, nobody out. Aurelio Rodriguez has a couple of doubles. I mean, a couple of walks, I should say. Popping it up. And Kelly. Playing good D today, but not doing much at the plate. 0 for 5. Okay, we go to the bottom of the ninth inning. We'll let Davidson pitch to Lytle. Lefty on, lefty violence. That's dumb. Okay, let's bring in the buck. This is where the buck stops. Actually, his last outing was kind of good, right? He's had two good outings in a row. Wouldn't even be in there if we had the gerb. Andrews lighting up the left. Roy White. Come on, all the switch hitters. Ground ball to Devannon. I think that's the only play he's had all day. It's short. And Gene Michael. High fly ball into the center field. And that will do it. Pilots win 8-2. to two. As Seattle takes 2 of 3 at Yankee Stadium. Who would have thunk it? That's a nice 8-2 to two win. What does that do for the standings? Of course, we jump in front of Chicago by a couple of percentage points. Um... And New York's loss puts them eight back of Baltimore. Baltimore, very impressive. Minnesota, five and a half games back. Oh, my goodness. Philadelphia has jumped the Mets and has a two-game lead as the Mets are plummeting. Is it because of injuries, or are they just screwing up the lineup? No, these are all their guys. And you want Amos Otis in there now. Uh, I don't know who he took the spot from. And Luis L. Carrez. Is he a shortstop? Second baseman. I don't know. And well, let's, let's see, were there any injuries? Uh, Jim Gosger. Oh, that's how Amos Otis got in there, but that's no big deal. And pitching. Oh, well, they lost the Coos, and they lost Gary Gentry. But they had to call, so they called up John Matlack. I mean, how, you can't go wrong with that. I don't like these five ERAs, though. Nolan Ryan is a stud. He's 24-4. and four. Also, an RIP to uh, Jim McAndrew, part of that World Series team in 69 for the Mets. He passed away, I believe, two days ago. All right. My condolences to uh, Freddie. And Los Angeles has a five-game lead. He, they're just holding it down. Atlanta officially eliminated now. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at headline news. Brainiac Baseball Daily Beat. Orioles beat the Sox. That's all there is. Transaction. Juan Marichal gets his career 2,000th strikeout. He's got 2,003. He's still only 32 years old. Uh, he's rated an 82. I mean, the disrespect. 
I don't think he'll get to 3,000. Okay, let's go ahead and pull up the box score and get out of here. It was a nice win, and uh, I feel okay about it. As we pull up the box score here. Player of the game, I mean, I like Sanguian getting three hits. He also had two RBI. Gary Holman, don't call me Gary Coleman, did have a three-run home run. A lot of walks helping out the on-base percentage. Joey Pepitone hit a home run. I mean, I, I'm going to give it to Manny Sanguian. Uh, as Gary Holman, I will say Coleman, did have uh, you know, two big hits today. But St. Gideon was a solid all-ball game and good behind the plate. So he is our player of the game. Dave Boswell gets the win, his third as a pilot. He's 8-8. Eight and eight. Only two hits and four walks because, of course, had to happen. Ted Davidson gives up the home run to Jim Lytle, his 22nd. Bucky Brandon making a bid to make the bullpen next year. Uh, and Larry Gowell, Gowell, we never did decide, gave up seven runs. 10 walks. I mean, in the end, I guess seven runs is appropriate, but someone is going to give up 10 walks and five hits? I mean, you should have clobbered them, but it didn't happen. Okay, that'll do it. We're going to jump in our jalopies, head to Cleveland, and uh, we'll be back tomorrow, perhaps with a doubleheader uh, based on you know whether or not we have time or not. That'll do it. Until tomorrow, everyone, have a great day.